guys. Welcome back to the Past Money Plan. My name is Alex. We have a guest on the show. Anderson Kirby is over there. Uh, Anderson, welcome. Thank you for coming on. Um, I personally work with Anderson and um, looking forward to hearing his story. Um, he's someone else that is very knowledgeable on the finance space. So glad to have you on. Thank you for coming. Thank you, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. I say hello for everybody. The people was watching us. And I hope I can help a little bit, a lot of people today. Great, great. Mm, sounds good, yeah. sounds good. So Anderson, we're going to start it off right. So tell us what you do. Um, you know, I know you're in a couple different spaces out there. So I'll leave the floor open for you. What? So what are you indulged in as far as, you know, the business front? Well, I have like a three different uh, operations right now. I have my truck business. Like the way I met Alex, he's a very good supervisor and manager. Very honest, very straight. I like that. And uh, I'm very appreciate for what he has done for me and helped me with a lot of things. Even when we commit uh, mistakes, he still want it. <laughs> and uh, I have uh, my real estate uh, business also. And I have another engineering that I work for. I work, I work with uh, lubrication engineering. That's all three, three, three things I work in together at once. Okay. So um, with that, uh, I'm going to leave the engineering part alone because that's too big for my brain space. But uh, so for the, <laughs> for, the, for the real estate and trucking, so all right, so starting off with real estate, where, where are you located at as far as your real estate? Well, my real estate, I'm start doing... I'm I'm like a I'm an immigrant here. I came in America in 1999 with uh, no English. I still I still have a broken English, but I think you guys can understand me. But <laughs> I'm still <laughs> learning. <laughs> but uh, I came here with no English. Um, I have some money in a pocket, like a six hundred dollars, and the first thing I did, uh, I was I was living with my cousin. And I start to see it. My first job actually was uh, working a car wash, and and I and I met a guy there, and this guy was one of one, I think like a father for me, because he saw. I think he looked at me and saw some potential, and he start investing myself, and he that guy has a like a body shop, like a car body shop. And he was watching me working, and he said, this guy is different. And he came to me speaking English. And I, I, I was telling I no English, no English. And he said, what language do we speak? And no English, no English. <laughs> and he said, Spanish. I said, no Spanish, Portuguese. He said, oh, você fala português. And the guy was Brazilian. That was a very constant, like a, you know, one of those days something happened. And this mm -hmm. guy took me to work in his shop. And when I start working in his shop, he start making me question, what are you doing here? What is your dreams? Where do you want to go? I say, man, you make it very hard questions, but I think I, I want to grow. I want to be here. I want to grow up my family here. And I was like a 20 years old. Mm -hmm. And this guy gives me a lot of like like a base stuff that's making me grow a lot because after after I start work for him for like a two years I worked for him for two years and I took my CDL because I was a I grew up in truck business in Brazil and one thing he told me was very very like a markful for me was he say you have to do what you like to do. You have to be in love what you do. Because when you are in love and what you do, that's the way you grow, you prosper. Because you put your energy automatic on the on that thing. It's not a weight on your back. It's something mm -hmm. just flow. And that's the thing I care. It's one of the things he told me. But the most important one was, was uh, another thing he told me. He say, Anderson, everything you do, do with your best, like through the Lord. 
because he was Christian. Right. And and I say, okay, but I'm 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 already have that on because my father teach me that. And he told me that's why I, I, I pick you because I saw how you work. And that's natural on you. And I say, yeah, okay, that's great. And that's how I stopped growing. And after six months, I bought my first property. We, we was in Pomp in, uh, in, in Broad County area. And six months after I bought my second property, and I think a year after I refinanced one of the properties, the first one I bought it, and I bought my third one. And exactly. in 2004, I was I was with five properties in 2004 when I got married. And all ran out and the money was covering the mortgage and make that work out. And I got married in 2004. And when you have the recession going back, up to like a 2008, 2009, I almost, I lost everything because I was on the bank, but I was able, I have a good lawyer and that's was helped me a lot because I was desperate because I want, I was, my, my debits was like over a million dollars on all the properties. Mm -hmm. And I went to a lawyer, very nice guy, very honest guy. And he, he told me one thing, like uh, open my eyes. And he say, Anderson, how long you be in America? I say, 10 or 12 years. And he told me, do you know you already hit the American dream? I say, I don't think so. That's not a dream for me. I want a million dollars. That's not a dream for me. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Right, because right. He, 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 and he say, Anderson, you right there. You just need a good lawyer. And I think with me, man, this is going to be cost me a lot of money. <laughs> right. And I told him, dude, that's going to be cost me a lot of money. How much? He said, don't worry about it. And I start making payments, very reasonable payments monthly to this guy. And he start, he, he take care of all my, my properties without a foreclosure. And, uh, and, uh, and he was giving me some tips to how guide my money because I will be on a bankruptcy like a for, for like a few years in advance and he was teaching me everything and he, he, he guide me for the path and when I may have my bankruptcy done finish with the certificate letter clean um, my credit was zero but I have I have some money I saved during that period and I was able to buy three proper two properties of uh, uh, paying cash. Right. And I right. and I start over again. That means I use the 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 the, the problem, the, the the to create a solution. And this guy That's helped solution. me to get that solution. And after that, I, I went to a, a a mechanical school. That was my second dream. My first dream is a truck driver all the time. But my, my mm. second one was a mechanic. That's when I, I get through a, through a lubrication. And I started doing, I, I have my certified, I'm motorcycle mechanic. And, uh, and I was preparing engines for race. And uh, the big problem I have in the engines was the lubrication. It's not enough. Always creating heat. And I, and I, I figured out something, cure that. And it's very successful, but it's it's like you say, it's too deep to go to that direction. <laughs> right. <laughs> to, and after that, uh, I work for my, I have my own shop for about, I got to say, six, seven years. Right. And I start getting tired to deal with people. It's very hard, especially on the, on the shop. Special people like they want to race, but they don't want to expend money. And I say, you know what? Let me open a cell phone store. And I went to Apple, make like certify myself on Apple computers, Apple cell phones back in as, as soon as they launched the iPhone 4. And I was the first store in Broward County to iPhone repair. And I have uh, my Ultra iPhone repair. It was the name of my store. And I wasn't there for, I have a, I grow on that business. I, I have, a, 
I grow in, in three stores. I have a three stores. Yep. One in, in, in their field, one in Boca, and another in Sample, one in Pompano. But I grow in that business too. I make some money. And I still all the time invest in real estate. And I bought another property. And mm. I have the third one. And and after everything going on, uh, they have some issues like insurance because I was my big business was computer repair and phone repair. Mm. And when ATAT, T Mobile and and um and Verizon they start like uh, obligate force you to put insurance, my my business just crashed. Mm. And I have to shut down. And I start being employee again after 13 years. And I was a manager on a construction uh, industrial metal uh, business. I was a manager there for like a six months. And COVID hit us. And they fired me. This is back in 2000, it's 2020. Yeah, 19 to 20, around that. And I was home unemployed and thinking, what I gotta do? <laughs> I was sitting on the sofa and everything started coming up in my mind from like 1999s. I have to do what I what I love to do it. And uh and the funny thing is when I took my CDL in 2001, uh, the first place I work was was where me and Alex work today. It's back in 2001. Right. And uh and I call one of my friends, the guy I work for for him at that time. Like I was I was not talking to him like a uh, years. And that guy was a father for me too because today I am a citizenship because of this guy and I'm very thankful for him. Uh Alex know him as Defreitas. Mm. De Freitas was the guy apply for my citizenship back in 2001. And I have my, my it's, he's a, like a father for me. I didn't and know I that. have a, like a lot of, I think my, I my the good thing is uh, when you, when you involve with good people, good energy, everything goes well. Like, like my, like, like our father, I think my father say that a lot. Uh, if you tell me who you who you walk with, I will tell you who you are. Yeah, you tell me your friends, I'll show you your future. Because exactly, it's exactly the same mm -hmm. thing. And every mm -hmm. everybody I I get close to me, what I get close to them, they was able to help me a lot. Right. And of course, yeah. on a, on this on this travel, I say a travel, we get a bad people. We get a bad 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 intention people go near to you but and they sometimes they they hit us and they hurt us but i try to delete that from my memory because when you when you care negative mind that's no good because you you cannot grow you cannot like uh, go forward because that hold you down it's like a uh, same thing when you're afraid to do something and you let the the the, the fear controls you it's about the same thing. You cannot be afraid. Mm -hmm. And you have to go forward. And sometimes I lose money too, but I not put in my mind, I lose money. I pay for learn. Yeah. You pay for education. I never, I never, I never say to myself, I lose because I'm not a loser. I never say, man, I lose that money. No, 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 no. I pay for learn. I'm not gonna do that again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's because that's a command. That's the things you give to your mind. You know what I'm saying. 